to basketball, and one of the best kept secrets in all of Division I college hoops might be right here in the triangle. The guys at NC Central have won 12 straight games, and three things have motivated them all season long. Team goals, a grandmother's life advice, and the history of HBCUs. We got the team. We got the coach. Yeah, I definitely expect us to win the uh, conference title, go to the NCAA tournament. As you can tell, the guys at NC Central are confident, and for good reason. The Eagles have won 12 straight games during one of the toughest parts of the season. That's a great stat, but these guys are more concerned with their one big goal. Win conference title, go to the NCAA tournament. It's either that or fail. We don't shy away from it because it's the, it's the harsh reality. If it's not a championship, no one really cares. Well, the Eagles have given people plenty of reason to care this season. Hoops fans love the wins on the court, but the team's head coach, well, he's more concerned about the wins off the court, like how he's prepared his players for life after the ball stops bouncing. The reality is when, when it's judgment day and, and you're before your creator, you can't share with him how many games you won. He don't care about that, you know. Now, I'm going to try it. <laughs> Remember that championship and da-da-da, but I'm sure he's not going to care. Uh, my grandmother told me at an early age that it's about the impact and the presence that you have on other people's lives. And impacting young people's lives is exactly what the former NC Central player and current head coach does best. Coaches did everything that we're trying to do. He's uh, played professionally, he's won championships as a player and as a coach. He's just teaching us the things that he did in his past that made him successful. Coach credits part of his success to the fact that he attended a historically black college or university, also known as an HBCU. HBCUs were the inception of us just being educated. You know, I, and I tell our guys, I share this with our guys, you know, your ancestors would be killed and hung and murdered if they were caught trying to read. You know, so now you have this opportunity. We can't miss classes. We can't take this for granted because so many lives have been sacrificed for us to be in this position. So obviously the players on this team do not take their educations for granted and they don't take this season for granted either. There's a very good chance this team could make the NCAA tournament and prove to some naysayers that HBCUs can make some big noise in the big dance. That's why we work so hard when we play a Power 5 school or a uh, uh, predominantly white institution to show them the goal still 10 feet in here just like anywhere else and we can play a great brand of basketball and we're well coached and we got great players just like any other institution in this world and we try to prove that day in the day out. The Eagles take the court again tomorrow for a chance to get their 13th straight win and if they keep it up these guys could be the Cinderella story that the entire nation cheers for come March Madness.